guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be attempting to transform an oversized t-shirt like this into a really nice kind of fitted strapless dress with absolutely no sewing involved whatsoever. So I have a vision in mind and I think we can do it because I really like this colour and I think as like a strapless kind of going out dress we can make it look really good. So I'm going to now take the dress off and we're going to start the process but all you're going to need for this DIY is a bodycon dress that you like um, and a pair of scissors. That's about it and maybe something to mark on the fabric if you're a little bit unsure but this is literally just a cutting DIY and you can turn something like this into something a lot more fitted so let's get to it. But before we jump into it if you're wondering where I get my t-shirts from you can pick them up from you know charity shops or thrift stores if you want to get them cheap and sustainably or there's a few stores that I find sell really good affordable t-shirts Amazon's a good one as well and Nasty Gal Amazingly, Nasty Gal has oversized t-shirts at bargain prices. I think because they think people like to sleep in them, but we can turn them into going out dresses as well. So I'll link some down below if you would find that useful, but let's jump to it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is lay your t-shirt out and we're going to turn this into a strapless. Now, it's going to be a huge strapless, but we just want to take off the sleeves first. So what I recommend doing is cutting as close to the armpit here as possible or kind of like just over it. So I'll zoom in for you guys so you can see what I mean. So you want to cut just above this seam here so that you can kind of secure it with the seam. So just above, we're just gonna cut straight through both sides of the t-shirt. And then you can come up a little bit through the center of the t-shirt to give you a bit more modesty at the top of your strapless. And you can always cut that down after, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm kind of going to do an arch like that and just keep going and then I'm going to bring it down and hopefully finish roughly at the armpit on the other side. So just like just like that. So then you want to put this fabric to one side. We might not need it, but it's always good to keep just in case. You should be left with something humongous like this. So just like a massive boob tube, which we're now going to work on. So you want it so the seams are pretty much on the edge. Mine is folded slightly off, but it's not too bad. Let me just get it center, just like that. And now you want to find yourself a bodycon dress that you like to wear or you can rough it um, or you can use your waist measurement, whatever you prefer, but I'm going to go grab a dress. This is the bodycon dress that I want to use, so I'm just going to lay it on top of my t-shirt, kind of in the centre, roughly at the same point. So this is a longer dress than the one we're making, so I'm just going to find the chest, which is about there, like so just line it up on top and then it's this smallest part here where the waist is that you can mark with a little piece of chalk i don't actually have any chalk on me currently so i'm just going to put a little safety pin in just to work out where that point is just because that for me is that's what we're trying to achieve we want to turn this oversized t-shirt into a nice fitted dress and so the waist is so important that is the key point for me so i'm just going to do that on both sides just a nice little safety pin to tell me where to stop. Otherwise I will not be able to get it on. Just like this. And then I can do it with the safety pin. So now you don't need this dress anymore. So you can lose that. So you should have something marking the two points of the waist. So we're now going to cut a one centimeter strip up towards the armpit, but do not cut all the way. That's really important. So I'm going to cut uh, about just under a centimeter either side of the seam so we're just going to go up like this and you must stop before you get to the top because this is a really key piece in how we're going to bring this dress in so just keep cutting and I would stop about an just under an inch away from the top, just to give it some strength, like that. 
and then you're gonna cut the other side of the seam about the same distance. So it doesn't need to be a very thick band, um, but it just needs to be a band. So we're just going to go up like that. So you should have a little strip here, but it's still attached to the top like that. So now what you want to do, you want to cut strips going all the way down to where we marked the waist. So this is going through both sides of the t-shirt. So um, you don't need to worry too much about making them accurate. I kind of just cut them in like this. And then I go down maybe two centimeters and I do another one. And I'm going to do this all the way down. And because our t-shirts are stretchy, you can do them all to the point of the waist without worrying too much because it will stretch around any other curves. But if you can do it accurately, so you just go out a little bit where your hips will go and where your bust will go, and then you should be good. So now you want to replicate what we just did on this side on this side of the t-shirt. You should be left with something like this and you're probably thinking what crazy alien thing is Emma getting us to make? But I promise you, trust the process. So now you can take those safety pins out because they're not needed anymore. Um, so I'm just going to remove mine. This is only if you use safety pins in the first place. I just find it really helps my eye when I'm making things, just know where my waist is um, without having to worry about getting it wrong or things. So I just find that very useful. So now what you want to do is just tug on these and just get them to roll in a little bit. So if you just pull them, you'll see they'll just roll nicely. So this is just to get them ready to be weaved or tied or whatever you'll call the next step. So just pull on them all like this. The next step is leave this long piece out for a moment and you want to take each of the pairs that you've cut and just tie a double knot but quite nice and tight. So this is just to make sure the dress is secured before we kind of make it look a little bit neater. So just tie it like that and just do that all the way down. So you just do one knot with the two, pull it tight and just do another one. Now you can do this when it's on your body if you want it to be a perfect fit to you, but I find doing it off as long as it's a stretchy t-shirt, you should be all right. You should have something looking a little bit like this now. So I'm a little bit worried that it's getting incredibly short. 
Um, so make sure when you're doing this DIY that your oversized t-shirt is long enough for a dress. I think mine's on the verge of being too short for a dress, but we're going to try it. So now we've got these two things here, which can work in two ways. I'm looking at this dress thinking it might look really sweet to have this as like a tie around the back of the strapless dress. Um, otherwise I was thinking of actually like weaving them in with all the frills here. So it kind of makes like a smoother strap this dress like that. So I'm actually, I'm gonna put this on now and we're going to see which one we prefer. So let's see what this looks like. So I may have unintentionally created a really stylish, like edgy outfit. Wasn't my goal, but um, I'm kind of here for it. So way too short. I really recommend getting a super oversized t-shirt. So mine just didn't hit long enough. So like I am wearing cycling shorts just in case, but you can see this is not a dress length in my opinion, but then I kind of, so I played around with those extra straps that I made. So let me take this one off. So where I cut the armpit bits, um, so the top is not a good fit currently, um, but you can see what I did. So I made like almost like armholes from the top of the t-shirt. Then these were the dangly string bits, which kind of just look cool. Like I'm kind of digging it. A little bit crazy, but we're trying to work it. I know I am just completely exposing myself here, but it's almost like a cowl neck corset dress. So if you make this on the right t-shirt, like it's going to look killer. And then this was the top part that we cut off, but it's kind of like a style. I swear, like there's this like thing going around where it's almost like jumpers or t-shirts that are just like half. There we go. Apart from it being too short, that's the only issue here. Like, I'm actually really chuffed with everything else. I love how the top kind of looks like straps, the corseted side, the little, like, jacket here with the peephole. Loving it. Like, and even the dangly bits here. I think this is... This is so fun. This has just worked. And now I'll also show you how you can wear this dress that we just made as a really cute little tight skirt. So let me just throw on a different top and I'll show you how you can wear it a different way. So I feel like the t-shirt that I've cut up today was definitely more meant to be a skirt length because this is like exactly the kind of length skirt I would wear. And it ties round so it cinches in your waist really, really beautifully. And you can even have like a little bow. I just need to cut the tag out from the inside of the t-shirt there. But how amazing is this? And you get like this corset style down the sides. Like this in a black, like sparkly or galaxy print t-shirt, it's your going out skirt. Like, I think it's so fun. It's just a really kind of simple, simple DIY, but it, it just works. So I think as a dress, it's a bit too, depending on your t-shirt, I have to keep saying that because my t-shirt, I wouldn't probably wear it as a dress, not without cycling shorts or leggings. And the top portion was a little bit risque, but I will try and get this on as the dress I imagine. So I'll put it on as a strapless and that I'll tie the top bit like I've tied this around my waist. Um, this is meant to tie the top part of the strapless dress. So I will wiggle it on now and see if it's manageable. But I've got to say, I might have intended this to be a strapless dress, but I have got out of it a really nice skirt and I can now use that technique on other things as well. So. Sometimes you plan something and it doesn't go to plan, but it still turns out all right. And that's exactly what's happened today. So let me see if I can wedge into it as a strapless, but um, I'm really chuffed with this. I've decided that this is the gift that just keeps on giving. So in, I was about to turn it into a strapless, like I said, but then I just readjusted the straps and I kind of now have like this double halter and I've just kind of tied it at the back here. But look at how nice this is. So it's kind of like a long t-shirt for me. Like I would wear this with my cycling shorts or a pair of jeans. Like it's that kind of middle ground length. But if I had a longer t-shirt, it could definitely be a dress. But for this, um, how I did this one, I'll undo it so you guys can see. So I kind of, I hooked round. So let me just undo it. So what it is, is where we have the loops from where the armpits were and then the long strands, I pulled those up like this and then into each of the loops, I put the opposite long strap. So it's hard with all my hair to show you this to you, woman. Let me move my hair up. I put my hair up to show you guys now. So what you wanna do is you take the two loops like this, put them up and then you take the long strand here and it goes through that loop. 
and then you do the same on the other side. You just put it through the loop there, and then you pull those like so, and that's what you then tie in a bow, and that's how you get that double halter effect. So I will just show you. And voila! So it makes a really fun kind of unusual style, and I've done it a little bit tight this time, but the looser you tie it, the looser this outer strap here. But in terms of style, like, it's just so lovely, and I, the length of it's actually really nice, because these are kind of like fun tops. But then the other option you can do is if you undo that tie, dun dun dun, you can actually put your arms through these loops, so it turns back into kind of like the dress we had on earlier and then tie those together like that and then you get a really lovely summer top like I love how it folds back here the front of it's gorgeous it's kind of got that halter cowl neck kind of style corseted sides like how beautiful is that? I just love it. So now we're going to try and strapless it, which was the original goal of this video, but I think I, I prefer these halter styles anyway. So here is what my vision looks like. So this is what I thought in my head. I was like, oh, I can make a really nice strapless with corseted sides, just tie it at the back. It'll be so cute. But I've actually got a lot of tops out of this one. So this is a really cute strapless. I really do like it. I like how the t-shirt kind of makes this band at the top. It literally looks like it was meant to be. Like, how lovely is this? So I'm so happy with how this turned out. So if I can get a longer oversized t-shirt, there is no reason why. If I can add two inches onto this, it could be a really, really cute summer dress. So my vision worked and a bit more. So you can also turn this into a sweetheart, which is what I like to do with my strapless tops. And I just use a little safety pin to do that. So I'll just grab one and show you what that looks like. But it worked. So for this, I literally just take a teeny tiny safety pin, I ruche up my fabric, and I just kind of jam it through without stabbing myself. <laughs> like so, and it just kind of gives me that little cinched in sweetheart effect that I love. So I am so chuffed with how this DIY has turned out. This was my first time kind of creating this thing I had in my head, and didn't go exactly how I thought it would, but it went even better. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of this one. I know it was a little bit chaotic, but I hope you can take something useful from it and create something for yourself because there's so many things you can utilize this for, like depending on the type of t-shirt you've got, you can make really nice t-shirts, dresses or skirts. I mean, there's a lot you can do with the same techniques. So I really hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for watching. My social media is down below if you'd like to follow me on there. But um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.